Hi everyone, this is Dylan again from Dylan's Reptile Time. Hope you're all doing okay. Uh, we can have a look at another snake today. It's a little bit bigger than Colin the Corn Snake and Bob the Royal Python. This is Stretch the Boa Constrictor. And he's in this box, he's very heavy. Let's get him out, here he comes. So he's a boa constrictor. Now boas, along with pythons, they're the, uh, one of the world's largest types of snakes. And they're found across Europe, Africa, Asia, but they're mainly found in Central and South America, like the boa constrictor here. And they're, uh, they're the second largest snake in South America. They're actually in the top 10 largest snakes in the world as well. They can get 12 feet in length, which is twice as long as stretch here. And they can weigh over 60 pounds. So it's uh, about 25 bags of sugar. It's a really heavy snake. Now, and the females, they get bigger and heavier than the males as well. And they're the, uh, the largest snake in, uh, in South America is the anaconda. You've probably heard of them. They're the largest and heaviest snake in the world. Uh, they can get four times as uh, big as uh, stretch here. And almost as long as the reticulated python as well. And they're found in the, mainly found in the rainforests in South America, including the Amazon rainforest, the largest jungle in the world. And they're nocturnal, so they spend a lot of the day in the day just sleeping, heating their bodies up, and then they go out at night time looking for things to eat. And if you look at their color and their pattern, lift him up here. So their pattern and that color is really good camouflage for when they're in the, on the rainforest floor. And what they do, they just lie there waiting for things to, to walk across and grab them. And they catch them with their sharp teeth. And if you look at a snake's teeth, uh, they're kind of really sharp and they're quite curved like this. So when they catch an animal, it's quite hard for the animal to escape their jaws and eat things like mammals, birds, big adult boa constrictors, really massive ones. They can eat small wild pigs as well. They get re eat really large prey. Uh, stretch here, he has about uh, one rat a week or two weeks. If a big boa eats uh, a pig, uh, it can go a few months without eating again. Imagine that. And when they catch their prey, what they do, they kind of catch their prey. They're called constrictors for a reason. So they wrap their body around the animal really tightly, constrict their prey, squeeze all the air out, and then swallow it whole. And as far as what can eat a boa constrictor, an adult boa constrictor, it's not got many predators. Uh, there's a big cat called the jaguar that can eat adult boas. And the caiman crocodile can probably eat uh, an adult boa as well. And they're in the Guinea, Guinness Book of World Records as being the longest lived snake. So Stretch here potentially could live to about 40 years old. So it's a really long time for a snake. And a lot of snakes, uh, like corn snakes and pythons, they lay eggs, like kind of squashy, squishy eggs like that. Uh, what boas do, uh, they actually grow the eggs inside their body and then give birth to like live young. And they call that ovoviviparous. So, and all boas do that. And she would give birth to like 60 live baby snakes. You imagine that, 60 snakes slivering off into the jungle. And they're a geeky fact. Uh, they're the only, the only animal in the world that has the same scientific name as their common name. So the boa constrictor. Yeah, pretty geeky fact. And what we're going to do now, we're going to see him stretched out so you can see how, how long they can actually get. So as you can see, they get pretty big. So you can imagine they get twice as big as this. Imagine that, it's massive. So the moment he eats like rats, when he's bigger, he'll eat like rabbits, children. <coughs> Is it something I said? Okay, so as you can see, they get pretty big. So they'll probably get about twice as big as that. Imagine that, it'd be really big. And they don't really eat children. I was only joking about that. I just did that to scare my kids off, don't worry. Now we have got a couple of questions. So Albert wanted to know, how many times a year do snakes shed their skin? So yeah, when they grow, they shed their skin. So their skin comes off all in one go, like a big sock or a stocking. And they do that, adult snakes, about roughly about four times a year, I'd say. Uh, younger snakes, because they grow more, uh, they'll shed their skin more. So it'll be more t more than four times a week for, for baby snakes. And he also wanted to know, can snakes swim? So yeah, so a lot of snakes do swim. So even though they've got no legs and no arms, snakes are, are good swimmers. Uh, I dare say Stretch would have a little dip in the Amazon maybe. Anacondas are really good swimmers as well. Some snakes though spend pretty much all their life in the water. So sea snakes um, spend their time in the seas and oceans. And they've, they've got tails like paddles, uh, help them through the water. 
and they've got nostrils that can close up uh, to stop the water and the salt getting into their nose and they've got a really powerful venom uh, sea snake so when they catch fast fish it paralyzes the fish and then they can swallow them down and they only go to the land to lay their eggs really and Brandon wanted to know where does the snake's tail begin yeah so they all look like tail don't they pretty much but near the base of their tail there down there that's their bottom and that's where they do their poops and their wees obviously and uh, so from the bottom uh, upwards that's their that's their tail and in general male snakes have a longer tail than female snakes and one last question Ada Mayer wanted to know how long do they get so they get about 12 feet so it's twice as long as stretch here at the moment he's just over six six feet and she also wanted to know, do they have a venomous bite? So yeah, so some snakes do have a venomous bite. Most snakes don't. But if Stretch did bite you, it would be very painful. He's got sharp teeth, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't inject venom. So it wouldn't make you really poorly. This one kills by constriction. So he'll wrap his body around the animal and then swallow it whole. He doesn't deliver a venomous bite. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was Stretch the Boa Constrictor. Right, so you guys stay safe and have a nice Easter. I'll see you later. Bye.